In this video, we are going to take a look at what is lazy loading of images, uh, understand why is it important, and then also look at a few examples of uh, lazy loading in action on some demo websites. Uh, right now on my screen, you can see eBay's website. We'll first take a look at this website to see how lazy loading actually works. When a user opens up any website, it could be your blog, it could be your e-commerce shop, uh, what the user can actually see on their screen is just this portion of your website, right? That's the first fold of your website. Uh, anything below this is actually not visible to the user unless they start scrolling, right? Now, ideally, uh, it is possible that a user could just land up on this page and click on one of these links and then just navigate away from this particular page, which means that loading anything that was below this first fold, loading any of these images uh, would actually result in wasting the user's network bandwidth that's available to him, right? So that's the idea of lazy loading, that anything that is not visible to the user, let's defer the loading of that particular component. So let's take a look at eBay's website. I have opened up the network panel of Chrome. You can access it by clicking on inspect option when you right click on the screen i have opened up the network tab and the images tab within it and i have additionally cleared everything so that we can start fresh right so when i start scrolling on this particular page if i just keep scrolling you would see that the you would see four images actually get loaded if i keep scrolling further you can look at the total number of requests loaded uh, at the bottom left of this screen if i keep scrolling that's eight requests now if I keep scrolling further, it's 12, 16, 20. So basically eBay is loading four images at a time. And that's what lazy loading is, that as the user keeps scrolling, as and when these images are actually getting visible to the user, only then do you actually trigger the load for those images, right? And Google PageSpeed, you know, it's one of the tools that people generally use to monitor website performance. Even Google PageSpeed has an audit called the defer off screen images for eBay. This is green, which means eBay has implemented lazy loading correctly, right? Now let's look at uh, a simpler example to actually see how lazy loading works, right? So these are examples that you would find later in this blog. So I would uh, really recommend that you go through the entire blog and maybe look at the code that's there as well. As of now, we will just look at the demonstration, right? So I have the same network panel opened up. If you look at this page, this is an example page. This page has 10 images and all 10 of them have been loaded, right? So obviously this is not something that we want. We want only the first few images to load and then as the user scrolls, the next image should start coming in, right? That is what we want. So in the tab adjacent to it, I have opened up another view. In this view, you can see that only three images have loaded till now, right? And that is what we exactly want, that images that are either there in the viewport or they are very close to the viewport, right? So for example, image three would be somewhere over here if I start scrolling. So that's why only three images have been loaded in the beginning. Additionally, so that uh, the effect of lazy loading is, you know, becomes very clear, I'll throttle down the speed to 100 kbps, right? So I'll just slow down the network so that we can actually see lazy loading happening. So if I start scrolling down, this is the second image, this is the third one. As soon as I reach fourth, this is the fourth one, you can see a request for the fourth image, you know, appears in the network panel and the image loads. This is the fifth one and the image loads, sixth one, the image loads, seventh, eighth, ninth, and then 10th, right? This actually looked slow because I had slowed down my computer speed just to demonstrate how lazy loading actually looks like. Obviously, if a network is working fine, it should not uh, cause so much delay. In this video, you would have noticed that when I was actually scrolling through the page, only when I actually reached the image, just when, let's say, this is image four, only when it reaches, you know, just inside the viewport, only then does the load get triggered, right? That's not the ideal experience that we want because users generally tend to scroll through the page really quickly, right? Ideally, we would not want the image to start loading just when it is entering the viewport, right? We would want to add some sort of an offset so that instead of the image being here, when the image is, let's say, at this position, when the user is scrolling, it should get loaded in. And that's what we have implemented in the next example, right? Where we have added some threshold. Again, uh, I'll slow down the network for you to 
observe this uh, lazy loading effect. The first three images have loaded. If I start scrolling the page, this is still image two, but then you see that the fourth image has already been loaded, right? If I keep scrolling down, I reach the middle of the third image and the fifth image has been loaded. I reach the middle of the fourth image and the sixth image gets loaded. Similarly, seventh, eighth, ninth, and then tenth, right? So the tenth image is actually still two images away, right? So there's one and that's two, right? So that provides us with sufficient buffer so that even if the user scrolls too quickly, when they actually get to this image, it would have already been loaded, right? Now you would have seen that when we were actually scrolling through these images, we used to get a blank placeholder. If we do not want that, maybe if you have seen on some of the other websites uh, where they load a really blurred version of an image and then the actual version comes in, that's what we have implemented in the next example. On this particular page, you will see that there are already 10 images that have been loaded, right? So this page has 10 and already we have loaded 10 images, but then the difference is that the first three images are actually just resized versions of the original images, right? We're just loading a 400 cross 300 image for all of them. Whereas for the other images, we are loading a blurred version of the image, right? So we are using image kits transformation parameters to blur the image and to reduce its quality, right? So there are 10 images on this page, but only for the first three are actual images that we want to show to the user. The other ones are blurred, right? So again, I'll slow down the page to see how this looks in action, right? So if I start scrolling through the website, you would see a blurred image gets replaced by an actual image, a blurred image replaced by an actual image and so on for every image, right? So this provides a really nice effect when the image is loading in. We're not looking at the code of lazy loading in this video. Uh, we just covered how it actually looks like in action. Uh, please go through the blog. You would find a much more detailed explanation along with code samples to actually implement lazy loading on your website.